Palestinian lives matter. How much do they matter? In our eyes, they would be one of the most holiest of lives. The message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was doing to half around the Kaaba and he turned towards the Kaaba and he said, Oh Kaaba, indeed, you are holy and sacred in the eyes of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, but the blood of one believer is more sacred than you are. Our Palestinian brothers and sisters have been fulfilling the Farde Kifaya on behalf of this entire Ummah. For last 70 years, they have been minced. If it was not for the Palestinian brothers and sisters, we would have not prayed one salah in your most holiest of places. This is the place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam subhanalladhi asra bi abdihi laylan min al masjid al haram ila al masjid al aqsa he took him to masjid al aqsa in his most adventurous night of his life and the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam led the anbiya alayhi salatu salam in prayer in this very place the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam turned around to straighten the safuf and he looked and it was Yusuf, it was Isa, it was Adam, it was Nu, alayhi salatu salam, and many, many more. This was the most holiest salah ever recorded in history. So brothers and sisters, do not get confused. If you never hear your imam, if you never hear your leaders speaking about Palestine, actually, if for the rest of your life, you never hear one leader ever mentioning Palestine or Masjid Aqsa, one imam never mentioning it, don't worry. Why? It's still an obligation upon you because Allah and his Rasul have mentioned it. You know, if you look at the life of Salahuddin, Salahuddin spent more time fighting Muslims to unite them, then he did actually the crusaders. You always had the hypocrites. But the importance of Masjid al-Aqsa can be ascertained, not only from the words of Allah and his Rasul, from the life of Amir al-Mu'mineen, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. In his 10 years as a Khalif, Umar only traveled to one place out of the Hijaz. Why? Because Umar radiallahu anhu wanted to be passed away in the blessed city of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa He would say, Allahumma inni as'aluka shahadatan fi sabilik wa mawtun fi baladi rasulik. Oh Allah, I want shahada, but I want to die in Medina. And therefore he wouldn't leave Medina. Only one time did Umar ibn al-Khattab ever leave the Hijaz, and that was to take the keys of Masjid al-Aqsa. So for you and I, it's an obligation. Wallahi, if this issue, if this issue does not unite the Muslim Ummah, nothing ever will. Nothing ever will. Because this is not only a humanitarian cause. This is a religious cause. This is our third holy site. So I have a few requests, brothers and sisters. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, send or pray two rakats in Masjid al-Aqsa. And if you cannot pray two rakats in Masjid al-Aqsa, then send oil to be burnt in the lanterns of Masjid al-Aqsa. The ulama said, what does this mean? It means that assist Masjid al-Aqsa. So in our capacity, in the West, what can we do? Well, firstly, we make dua. Sincerely, We ask, firstly, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then we move on. We involve ourselves in a BDS. Boycott everything regarding Israel. Boycott. Get involved. Put some pressure on your MPs, on your councillors, on your leaders. Ask your imams in your masjid to speak about the greatness of this place. And also, brothers and sisters, do not forget to support organizations like Cage and Mend and all the others. A portion of our money needs to go to these organizations because they are defending the Muslim community. So brothers and sisters, don't look for leaders out there. Be a leader yourself. Take the lead on this. And your reward is by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate the status of our brothers and sisters in Palestine. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them strength. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us a source of their assistance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant their shuhada, the highest status in Jannah for those. And we make dua 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring back Masjid Al-Aqsa solely to the believers. I, I have seen people speaking about the Qurtaba Masjid. Like, oh, oh, we wish if the Qurtaba Masjid could come back to the Muslim, the third largest mus- wor- Masjid in the world at one time. Brothers and sisters, you're talking about a masjid in Spain which was taken a hundred years ago and your third holiest masjid is slipping from your hands in front of your eyes. History will remember us like they remembered the Muslims in Spain for allowing the the masjid to slip out their hands. So we have this opportunity. So let's get together. Let's go back to the 10 year old, you know, 10 years people were speaking about Palestine. We had conferences on Palestine. And we need the ulama to get together. Throw your secretary differences out the window. The, the Diobandis, the Brailwis, the Salafis, the Ahladis, the Ikhwanis. You all need to get together. If this issue doesn't unite you, nothing, nothing is ever going to unite you. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.